What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Robert from RobGeo 0407 l and welcome to episode 213 of Logo History. Today we're going to have a look at YouTube and SoundCloud. Let's start with YouTube, my most valuable uh, possession app. Well, well, it's the site that you're watching right now. It's the site that you're on right now, YouTube. You're watching my latest video, ladies and gentlemen. Let's take a look at the short bio of those of you who don't know what um, YouTube is. It is a video sharing software owned by Google. It was founded by, sorry, it was founded on February 14th, 2005 by Steve Chen, Chad Hurley, and Jawid Karim. Wow. It's founded on Valentine's Day. Oh, get some nut. I'm, I'm sorry. All right, its key people are Susan Wachiki, CEO, and Chad Hurley, advisor, and also founder. Its website is YouTube.com. We're watching my YouTube videos! Hey! Actually, let's watch my latest so far. Oh my god, I'm Um, is the volume up? Alright, volume's up. Volume's up. And now let's watch. Oh my god, that's scary! That's scary! Oh! All right, let's watch it again. Oh my god, that's scary. That's scary. Oh! One more time. Oh my god, that's scary. That's scary. Oh! All right, now I got a comment from my good friend, the Skyrax669. I commented, liked, and loved it. He said, thanks. I didn't need to sleep tonight anyways. JK. <laughs> oh, oh. All right. Now, without further ado, let's get started. 2005 to 2011, we have the word you found your boy tell him in almost black, and we have a red tube with the word tube in it. This is the, this is the print version, and this is the version with the slogan, broadcast yourself. 2011 to 2013, same, same as um, last logo, but um, it became a flat version, kind of. 2013 to 2015, um, the U word came, well, became completely black. It's the print version. And this is probably the, um, stacked version. Here we have the play button, and we have the word YouTube on the bottom. 2015 to 2017, we have the word U fully in black, and we have the red television tube and we have the word tube in it and finally 2017 to the present um um the logo like literally received a huge overhaul in in uh, august 2017 um so now is now we're left with just a with a play button with um the word youtube next to it and here's the print version and this is the word mark with the words YouTube. Just YouTube. No television tube or anything like that. Now before I move on to SoundCloud, um, I just want the te I just want you I want sorry, I want to show you um um the icons. 2005 to 2009 we have the word you in black and the word tube in white. And it's inside a red television tube. 2009 to 2011, um, probably the same thing. 2011 to 2013, it became a play button right here. 2013 to 2015, I like the last logo. It became a bit smaller in terms of width. 2015 to 2017, um, I don't know what things are changing here. In 2017 to the present, probably the same thing. And now let's move on to SoundCloud, my music software. Actually, my, my music streaming website. Anyways, let's take a look at the short bio of those of you who don't know what SoundCloud is. It is a music streaming website found in August 2007 in Stockholm, Sweden, and it was launched in October 2008, a year later. The people who founded SoundCloud are Alexander Leung and Eric Walfors. Their headquarters are in Berlin, Germany. Its key people are Alexander Leung, founder and chairman, Eric Walfors, founder and CPO, Carrie Trainer, CEO, and Artem Fishman, CTO. There are 300 employees working there. Its website is soundcloud.com. Just soundcloud.com. No www.before it. Um, 
Wow. Um. So this is my account right here. I had uh 500 followers before, and now I've lost followers, and now I'm down to 495. So please help me get back to where I was before. Please help me get back to where I was before. I make some great music. So please help me get back to where I was before I closed my account. Well, actually, I'm not. I'm just going to keep on continuing, but I can like close my account. But, all right. I got, I got uh, two comments. Um, Actually, two replies because I commented on this track. I said cool beat and then replied two times T Y V M. Um it's a symbol. I don't know what it stands for. Now sorry, not oh, oh my god. Now without further ado, let's get started. 2008 to the present. We have a cloud and we have the word SoundCloud. Alright. And now for two requests. Um, I can't believe I am saying this right now, but the two new logos that will be in this episode right now will be the one, well actually the two, the only, the most frequent, frequently requested, not CNN, not 2K Games, White TV, and Fresh TV. This request, well, these requests are a little bit different because it's from some, it, it, it was requested by somebody who was threatening me in the comments. And this, um, this was, a re well, two requests from Sabi Maya. Sabi, if you're watching this, I really hope you're happy now because this is the last time you're ever going to get your way by making threats. If I ever see you make a threat in the comments again, I will remove it. If I if if I continue to see you um making threats in the comments saying, "Oh, if you don't do this, I'll dislike all your videos," then I'm going to report you a bajillion times until you're terminated. So, I don't want any mean comments from you anymore. And that goes for everybody. If you post something mean in the comments, about a goddamn logo, then I'm removing the comment. And if I ever see anyone continue to making to make threats in the comments, I'll report you. So please, it's just a warning for you, Sabi, and for everyone else. Even though everybody's pretty nice, so this is just one little reminder. Sabi, never make threats again, ever. You got your way, and now the next logo, you better not, you better not, you better not, um, let, let me, uh, use your logo, um, just for, just for, um, making threats. You're not getting away by making threats this time. So now, you're no longer saying mean things to me anymore. Anyways, let's move on to the two logos. So, um, let's start with YTV. So, as a consequence, the short bios will be short as possible, and and um, so and I'll check um the website in the shortest time possible. But Rob you for seven hours. I want to see the website a lot. Sorry, you should have you should have known to think twice before you commented in in those videos, saying, "Oh, if if you don't do this, then I'll dislike all your videos." Like, like something like that. Don't ever make a threat like that again. And that that's a consequence. So if you want me to see all the websites, you better write nice comments. Okay, I'm sorry. I'll never be mean to you again. Okay. But but I'm still but the short bias will be will still be short as possible and I'll check the websites um, in a short amount of time. Anyways, let's take a look at the short bio. For those of you who don't know what YTV is, it was launched on September 1st, 1988. Its headquarters are in Toronto, Ontario, and its website is www.ytv.com. So let's take a look. Thanks for visiting. Please note that you may link out to other sites that we don't control. Before you click grab a, grab a parent or the person in charge of you, and make sure it's okay with them that you leave our site. 
they can get more details about what we stand for checking out our privacy in terms of use. Oh God. All right, and this is just other stuff. Chuck's choice, kind of in the chest of meatballs, blah, 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 blah. Now, without further ado, let's get started. 1988 to 1991, we have the word, we have the letters Y, TV, and red, um, and it's inside a blue circle. 1991 and 1995, this kind of reminds me of those um, on-screen logos where it shows like the TV rating. So we have, um, the, well, just the letters Y, TV. We have the letter Y, which is huge, and we have, we have two letters stacked. To each other, so we have one that is the letter D and one that is the letter V. 1995 to 2000, unlike the last logo, this one is kind of like round, kind of. 2000 to 2006, we have um the letters YTV with um with a purple and black outline respectively. 2006 to 2010, uh, we have uh the letters Y, T, and V. And we have um, the blue circle right here. <laughs> yeah. 2010 to 2014, um, again, blue circle. And the letters YTV with blue outline right here. Right here, yeah. 2014 to the present, um, same here, but it's now cyan. So, yeah. And now let's move on to Fresh TV, the final logo for this episode. Let's take a look at the short file for those of you who don't know what Fresh TV is. It was founded in 2004. Their headquarters are in Toronto, Ontario, like YTV. Well, it's a, well yeah, it's, it's a Canadian one as well. Well, well, YTV and Fresh TV are both Canadian. Its key people are Tom McGillis, Jennifer Persh, Brian Irving, and George Elliott. And there are over 100 employees working there. So its website is www.freshtvinc.com. Again, um, again, um, Thanks to um Sadie Maya being mean to me, I am checking um all um well I'm checking this website as short as possible. So, yeah, and these are five slides right here. Ba -ba 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 -ba. So yeah, um if you were if you you should have been mean to me, and now I'm checking and um I uh, check the site sites as short as possible. Now, without further ado, let's get started. 2004 to 2009, we have the word FRESH in green. And we have, like, um, kind of like a, a shape, wall flower inside a circle that is both orange. And we have the word letters TV in orange as well. And this is their on-screen logo. 2009 to 2016, their name changed to FRESH. Um, we have the word FRESH in green again. And we have a, a green flower inside a green circle. And this kind of reminds me of the flag of Padania, Patania, which is actually, which actually takes up uh, most of Northern Italy. <laughs> and finally, 2016 to the present, we have a red triangle right here, which is shaped like a play button. And we have the words Fresh TV inside it, and, and we have the slogan, Just Watch Us. All right, that's all for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Logo History. And I'll see you tomorrow for a brand new episode. Stay tuned for episode 214, Musical.ly and Reddit. Bye-bye. And remember, kids, don't be mean in the comments or else I remove it. And if I continue to see you guys making rude comments in the comments section, you're, I will report you. So this is just a warning not only for Savy but for everyone else. So, yeah, bye, guys.